Vladimir Putin was born on October 7th, 1952 in Leningrad. I come from an ordinary family and this is how I lived for a long time, nearly my whole life. I lived as an average normal person and I have always maintained that connection. Vladimir Putin's mother, Maria Shalomova, was a very kind benevolent person. We lived simply cabbage soup, cutlets, pancakes, but on Sundays and holidays my mom would bake very delicious stuffed buns with cabbage, meat and rice, and curd tarts. Mr. Putin says his mother did not approve of his decision to do judo. Every time I went to a practice session, she would grumble. He is off to his fights again. Things changed after Vladimir Putin's coach visited his home and told his parents about what he did and what he achieved. The family's attitude toward this sport changed. His father Vladimir Putin participated in the war in 1950s. He worked as a security guard and later as a foreman at the carriage works. My father was born in St. Petersburg in 1911 when World War I began. Life in St. Petersburg became hard. People were starving so the entire family moved to Pomenovo, a village in the Tver region my grandmother came from. Incidentally, my relatives still vacation in the house where my grandparents lived. It was in Pomenovo that my father met my mother and they got married at the age of 17. After the war, the Putin family moved into a room in communal apartment in a typical St. Petersburg dwelling house on Baskov Lane. Vladimir Putin recalls it was a building with a well-like yard. Fifth floor, no elevator. Before the war, World War II, my parents occupied half of the house in Peterhof and were very proud of the living standards they had achieved then. It wasn't really much, but it seemed like an ultimate dream to them. In 1960 to 1968, Vladimir Putin attended primary school number 193 in Leningrad. After the eighth grade, he entered high school number 281, a chemistry focused magnet school under the aegis of Technology Institute, completing his studies there in 1970. I was always late for my first class, so even in winter I didn't have time to dress properly, Vladimir Putin says. His teacher, Vera Gurevich, recalls, in the fifth grade, he still hadn't found himself yet, but I could feel the potential, the energy and the character in him. I saw that he had a great deal of interest in language. He picked it up easily. He had a very good memory and agile mind. I thought something good will come of this boy, so I decided to give him more attention to distract him from the boys on the street. Until the 6th grade, Vladimir Putin was not very interested in studying, but his teacher Vera Gurevich saw that he could do better and get higher grades. She met with his father, asking him to influence his son. It did not help much, but Vladimir Putin himself radically changed his attitude toward his studies when he was in the 6th grade. Mr. Putin notes, other priorities were emerging. I was asserting myself through sports, achieving something. There were new goals too, no doubt. This had an enormous effect. In the sixth grade, Vladimir Putin decided that he needed to achieve something in life, so he began getting good grades, which came easily to him. He was allowed to join the Young Pioneers organization and almost immediately became the head of pioneer detachment in his class. It became clear that street smarts were not enough, so I began doing sports, but even that was not enough for maintaining my status, so to speak for very long. I realized that I also needed to study well. Vladimir Putin says, in 1970, Vladimir Putin became a student of law department at Leningrad State University, earning his degree in 1975. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Mr. Putin studied at KGB school number one in Moscow. Even before I finished high school, I wanted to work in intelligence. Granted, soon after, I decided I wanted to be a sailor, but then I wanted to do intelligence again. In the very beginning, I wanted to be a pilot. Vladimir Putin recalls, even before he finished school, Vladimir Putin wanted to work in intelligence. He went to a public reception office of the KGB directorate to find out how to become an intelligence officer there. 
He was told that first he would have to either serve in the army or complete college, preferably with a degree in law. And from that moment, I began preparing myself to enter the law department at Leningrad State University. Mr. Putin notes.